Right, today I'm going to show you how to make your own volcano. It's going to be super easy. All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a volcano. Looks like a lot of stuff here, but it's really not. All you have is baking soda, vinegar, dish soap, a couple tools we're going to use, empty two liter bottle, optional little red food coloring, little disposable cup and a stick so we can mix up our baking soda and water and water. We like to have our water kind of hot because it's going to have a better reaction. All right, here we go. All right, now I'm going to show you how to make a volcano, but once I show you that, I'm going to try and make one in this thing. I've never done it before. May not work, but we'll see. So stick around after I show you how to make yours and we'll give this a shot. All right. Remember, this is super easy. So I used a funnel just to make it so I don't make quite a mess. You want to do this outside or somewhere it's not going to get, you know, stuff everywhere because vinegar kind of smells. So remember, we're going to use four parts vinegar. drops of red food coloring and then this is just regular dish soap we put it in a fancy little bottle but I give it a couple squirts in there all right that's the easy part well it's all easy so now we're gonna take our baking soda clearly I'm not really measuring that I'm just doing this a nine ounce cup about half of it I'm gonna put my water in here what you want to do, I'm going to remove my funnel because when this goes off, it would shoot it out of the way. Move some of my stuff out of the way, just in case. So I'm going to mix my baking soda, so you get the baking soda kind of floating around in there. And then, I'm going to try and pour it. You're going to miss some of it, but that's alright. So three, two, one. Let's see what happens. Oh. That's a fun little volcano. Now let me set up and see what we can do with this thing. All right, so now we've scaled this thing up. So I'm gonna use two gallons of vinegar, probably about a half a gallon of water. My boss is not gonna be happy I'm using all this stuff, but we're gonna try it and see if it'll work. We're not gonna use all that dish soap, nor are we gonna use all that red food coloring but we're gonna put a little in there see if it helps and then we're gonna use a whole bunch of this huge bag of baking soda so like I said never done this before Let's see what happens all right already got a gallon of vinegar in the jug I'm gonna put the rest in there gallons of vinegar, a lot, alright, get that out of the way, we're going to put about a half gallon of our hot water, again doesn't have to be specific, oh boy, um, maybe a little more, alright, set that out of the way, dish soap just to get it nice and foamy. Yeah, that's probably good. Some red food coloring just for fun. That's probably a lot. Okay, now for the fun part. I'm going to use a whole bunch of this. Let's see. Take like about a quarter of our pitcher. I'm just guessing here. Since we've never done this before. Alright. So now like before, I'm gonna add my water to my baking soda. Make what we call our slurry. So this is gonna be the tricky part. I'm gonna get this front out of the way again. I'm gonna really get this kind of moving around in my water. All right, here we go. Not kidding, very first time I've ever done this. Let's see what happens. 
Right, I'm going to step back after I dump this. I'm trying to get out of the way. Alright. Three, two, one. See, I was hoping for a little more of an eruption. Still pretty cool. All right, have fun making your volcano and give us a like, subscribe for more stuff, and we'll keep making bigger and better projects. All right, just for fun. I'm never getting all the soap out of this thing. Ugh. All right. I wasn't impressed with our giant volcano, so I'm gonna try one more thing. Let's give this a shot. I'm gonna try an Erlenmeyer flask to see if that gives it a little more kind of eruption. All right, three, two, one. Oh, that was definitely better. All right, makes me feel a little better. Maybe we'll try something oh, else here. Now I gotta clean all this stuff up. All right, get this cleaned up and get ready for another experiment. All right, just about had this mess cleaned up and I thought, you know, why not? I'll give it one more try. So I've mixed up the water to vinegar ratio. So it's one part water to one part vinegar. I got the water as hot as I could get it out of the sink. Um, and I'm gonna try and swirl the big bottle to maybe keep the vinegar and water kind of moving in there and maybe the baking soda slurry will react a little more with it. So, this is the last time. I'm not putting the soap this time because it was a nightmare cleaning that bottle up. All right, here we go. Get this going. All right, get our slurry mixed up. Here we go. Still, oh! A little better. Kind of a gurgling thing, but hey, that was pretty cool. All right, fun thing with science. We tried something different, we got a different result. Really cool. All right, 